All right, it's a little windy out here, so bear with me. I'm hardening off my seeds that have started sprouting. Uh, the pepper and the ground cherries have not popped up yet. They tend to take a little bit longer, so I'm not overly stressed, but I'm just giving these some exposure outside so that they can start acclimating to just the unpredictable and harsher environment. Um, we'll do a quick garden walkthrough because I'm about to start amending everything. Uh, I picked almost all of my kumquats and I made a marmalade this week. That came out amazing. Um, this is going to get cleaned up. Cut back those gladiolas, pull some weeds. Um, and then this week I'll be getting um, some extra garden soil and mulched to get it ready for my flower garden. That's going to be my cut flower garden. So I'm going to do a bunch more zinnias. I'm hoping that hibiscus comes back. We'll see. And then um, the gladiolas I'm hoping will pop back, but I'm also going to put in some dahlias in here as well. My broccoli had flowered, so I just kind of let it, let it go, let it flower, make the bees happy. But they do have really pretty flowers too, which is nice to see. But it's so fun to see all these just side threads that just keep coming up. Um, when I amend, um, I really just kind of cut the stems, but I actually need to pull up the roots there to make room for the roots of. Uh, the plants I'm going to put in. I definitely have some weeds to pull out that are popping up in the back here. Um, same thing with my, my okra that was here. I need to just pull these roots out. Dill's looking okay. A uh, little yellow in some spots, but I'm not overly worried. My Brussels sprouts have Brussels sprouts. So I'm just letting these get a little bit bigger. Um, I did strip the leaves off so that they could focus their energy on the actual Brussels sprout. These are my stems for my pepper plants. So those are gonna be coming up as well. Um, my Chinese cabbage has decided to just bolt um, some of it looks pretty good, but it's just not getting big like it did initially, I think, because it's just too warm. It's got pretty flower, too, so I'm just letting it flower, letting the bees enjoy it until I just kind of haul everything over. These marigolds are dead. These might come back. I've heard that they can come back um, in this zone, which is 9A. And this was a radish bed. I don't think there's any roots in there. Uh, these were my cucumelon trellises. And I'm probably going to be switching over to cattle panel and doing a couple arcs between beds as well for some of my vining plants. So that will be my cucumbers. Um, I have two types of cucumbers that seeds are starting. Uh, my Malaysian eggplant, and I have two melons. One's an Indian melon, and one is a Asian melon. So I'm gonna do a couple arc trellises for those, and then I'm gonna be doing cattle panel in the back um, of some of the beds for my tomatoes. Um, and then that way I'll have some room in the front of the bed to really kind of optimize my spacing. My kale looks beautiful. Um, I just picked these yellow leaves off, toss them, um, but they look great. I really need to start doing something with my kale, um, cause then I'm going to need this room. This is where my, um, golden zucchini is going to be going. And there, gold. Cut that back. Um, so my cucumelons were here. I that one kind of made it through the winter, and then we just had a couple cold, cold snaps, so I think it died. But cucumelons um, do have um, like 
tubes, I think they call them. So they can come back every year. I don't know, I don't know if they will. Um, but I have two pods of two cucumelons each. Hi, helper. Hi, Shelby. Um, so I'll be planting those in the same spot. And I think I'm going to either keep these trellises, because it's just two trellises kind of overlapped, or I'll use the cattle panel. I haven't officially decided, but I have I bought the trellises, so I might as well use them. So that's the plan for, for the garden. Like I said, I'm hardening off those seedlings um, for a few hours today. I'm probably going to plant them, at least some of them this week. Let's go take another look at them and I can show you what I have in there. I went through all the seeds when I was doing my planting video, but my golden zucchini especially is just doing so good and the roots are starting to pop out of the little mesh. Um, the Black Beauty Zucchini, which is very popular, starting to pop up. These are my lemon cucumbers that I had last year and loved. My cucumelons. These need to get taller, um, get true leaves and get tendrils before I can transplant. Same, same thing with the lemon cucumber. Um, these are a, a purple Russian tomato that I got free when I ordered my Baker's Creek, Baker Creek seeds. Um, so I'm trying them out. I don't know how well they're going to do in the Texas heat, but we'll see. I have my other sets of tomatoes. These are the ground cherries. They take a little bit longer. These are my Tokyo cucumbers, so these also need a set of true leaves, even though they're very tall. Um, they need to get true leaves and start putting out spindles before I'm going to transplant them. My Tommy Toe tomato has these. Oh, ones might be popping up somewhere. These are my um, Nardello Italian pepper. These will take a little bit of time. My eggplant has popped up, and I can see the other one in there. Um, this is my Madu uh, Madu raw melon. These need true leaves. This one's coming up on the side, and then this is my cicada melons, the Asian melons. So. A lot of them have to get a little bit bigger, but the, the zucchini might go in this week because it's getting kind of tall already, or I'm going to have to transplant it into something else in the meantime. So that's the plan. And these are my seedlings. I'm doing some fresh air, some wind, just an hour or two, then they go back inside and we're going to do this a few times just to get them used to the outdoors. Thanks for stopping by.